Welcome back. As we mentioned earlier, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and our next guest says she has struggled for years to overcome anxiety and depression. As she began to talk about her battle with mental illness, she found others opened up about their own troubles. But that's when Julia Brogley lost her brother Justin to suicide. She found a way to reach out to help others, however. She created a subscription box service that comes to your doorstep. You can give it to a friend who is struggling or you can send it to yourself, and Julia is with us now to tell us what's in the boxes and how it's helping others as well. And thank you for being here. I think oh, this is so important. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Mental health in, in particular, people seem to have a stigma about talking about it, right. and this really helps on so many levels. We need to do things to get rid of that stigma, right? Definitely. Um, one in five people in America have a mental illness or will experience a mental illness in their lifetime, but we always say that five in five have mental health. So we should really be thinking about our mental health every single day, just right. the way that we think about our physical health. So you obviously, you and your family experienced great tragedy when you lost your brother, Justin. Yes. Um, how long after that happened did you start thinking about this and a way to help others? So he died five years ago in April, actually. And I didn't ever think of this idea until um, when he died. People started coming to me because they knew that my family and I were very open about our mental health and mm -hmm. about, we never tried to hide the fact that it was a suicide. Mm -hmm. um, and since there is a stigma, people are afraid to talk about it. So with us, they started opening up, telling me what's worked for them or asking me for resources. So I wasn't and am not a mental health expert or don't have that in my background. However, I started researching a great deal about all the different resources and tools that are out there and I realize there's so much and it's just getting these tools and resources into people's hands that was the issue and I have my background um, I'm actually a chemical engineer and I worked in the skincare and cosmetics industry and in that industry subscription boxes are huge huge it's right. such a great way to get product into people's hands so I kind of put the two together and said what if there was a mental health and stress relief subscription box and it was sort of a easy digestible way to get these right. resources right. into people's So that hands. is how the Broglie box began. That's how it began. And yes. so tell us what is in the box and 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 what the subsequent boxes Sure. Have. So it's a quarterly subscription so it comes four times a year mm -hmm. and each box differs from quarter to quarter. So there's six to seven full-size items somehow relating to mental health and stress relief as well as a 30 page mini magazine called Peace of Mind. And this is a magazine specific to Broglie Box and we curate articles from psychologists, psychiatrists, wow. there's different self-help guides, nutrition information, exercises, breathing techniques, all the different apps that are out there. So it's basically a consolidated way of getting it. So you have said that you've suffered yourself from some types of anxiety and depression. Exactly. Um, have you found this to be helpful even for you? Yes, I mean, I still live every day working on my mental health. It's not a perfect road for me either. And a lot of these items have helped me so much. And that's why I just want other people to know that you can feel better. There is a way to find help. And um, these items are just an easy reminder of that. And in fact, you just launched this in December and yep. already the response has been what? Yeah, the response has been amazing. Everyone who learns about it is so excited. Um, a lot of people are buying them as gifts. Mm -hmm. So when we launched in December, people were buying them as Christmas gifts um, and then have just continued the subscription because they love what's inside and it's just a positive message. So even though you've been so open about your experiences, why do you think it is that there is the stigma and that people are afraid to reach out and get the help that they need? You know, I, it's interesting because I have been open, but only after my brother died. Before, I was always embarrassed about it. It's, it's seen for some reason as a weakness because it's not like a physical disease or illness that you can kind of see it there and it's not widely accepted. I think also portrayal in the media has affected um, the way that we see mental illness. You know, when you, when you think about someone who is depressed, um, they're dis displayed as uh, crazy or psychotic and you know everyone experiences some sort of stress and anxiety you don't have to be psychotic in to order experience to, right. that. Yeah. 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 Well you're helping people for sure with this box <laughs> thank and you. thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being here and for what you're doing and to find out more about the Broglie box go to PittsburghTodayLive.com we posted the information for you right there.